Hello my soccer universe and welcome to a dragon slaying review. Yesterday, uh, just to set the scene, I was still uh, recovering, uh, being quite tired and uh, you know after lunch I again lied down, feeling actually quite better now. Uh, sleeping helps, sleeping definitely helps. Uh, in, any, in any case, I said, okay, well, I'm, uh, I actually slept here in the office and I said, okay, let's put on the screen uh, Rennes against PSG. Um, I will tell about the, uh, the, the, the match a little, a little bit more, but basically I fall asleep with Messi hitting a free kick against the crossbar. I had a thought about that. And I wake up with Rennes winning. Hence, I am wearing Rennes maybe for the first time on this channel for a review who knows i decided to actually go with ren because usually in this video so far i've been wearing either ajax or psg and i yes i have the most jerseys of these two teams but i want to actually switch it up a little bit although the wall here we got too 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 wide and then uh i said okay let's take a little a little bit, little bit easy the, that that game is over and let's watch uh, ajax against utrecht and both Giants lose. And I thought this might be a sign. Yes, it was a sign that more Giants are gonna lose this uh, week. And however, not the one Giant that I and will not talk about this video. This is for the Germany Austria video. That Giant did not lose. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of both big uh, teams. The teams that will most likely cruise to the title. Both lose on the same weekend. Um, the question is, of course, which one was the worst loss? Uh, <laughs> I actually have to say, I would actually go uh, with PSG, who still don't seem clicking, because, um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about it. But I think the Galactico phenomenon is still very much at play here. But let's start in the Eredivisie with the Ajax-Utrecht game. Uh, as I said, I saw, mo I th I saw most of the second half. And it was... As most surprising results happened, the, the way that the favorite is pressing, 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 but it seemed a little bit stale, like Ajax was playing already against uh, Besiktas in the second half. So, and I have been kind of uh, half jokingly saying, "What's wrong with Ajax? They had this great run at the beginning of this uh, slot between two international where they scored goal after goal, and now it, uh, goals go dry, uh, uh, are drying up, and similar, they could not really manage." Many chances, but nothing really that dangerous. And with the first shot on goal, Utrecht wins it. Absolute crazy. Uh, goal scorer, I need to look, look up uh, Warmadam from a great shot from uh, from a distance. Wins it. <laughs> I can't believe it. It was kind of, kind of funny. That actually then, with other results, we had AZ winning against Cambuur uh, for the first time, but especially Vitesse then um, beating Feyenoord. Uh, with Openda scoring two, uh, both early in each half, uh, Teal can get an e e e equalizer for Fener, but they cannot find another e e equalizer, despite Vitesse having two players sent off in stoppage time, one in the 96 and one in the 101st minute. What stoppage time would that be? That must have been crazy. There were, uh, if you look here at the uh, stats, one, two, three, four changes and two red, red, red cards in stoppage time. That must be, have been a hell of a game. And so it was all up to PSV to actually take advantage and advantage they did take. Uh, but it took a while with Sangare, all goals scored in the last 10 minutes. Sangare and Thomas in the 82nd and 86th uh, scoring the two goals and Tilly pulls one back for Sparta. Meaning that now on top of the table, and we are only two rounds away from the big clash between Ajax and PSV. Um, we have now PSV in touching distance to Ajax against that cast will come up. You'll see then a whole lot more Ajax still prohibitive favorites uh, to win the title uh, in the Eredivisie. Also William Dvelos, so they also fall uh, a little bit down as well. But yeah, it's now Ajax 19, PSV 18 and Utrecht 17. So rather, rather nice. It's relatively balanced uh, there. Uh, as I said, expected Ajax still very much prohibitive favorites. Going to France, uh, where Lance continues their really good start. Uh, nice also get a win over Press, but it was all the Ren against PSG. As I said, I saw, you know, they had the big three up there and, you know, they're doing all their tricks, but 
uh, the thing that Randy, they very much, very, very, very much knew how to get to PSG, who just had this big win against Man City, where they actually were also outplayed most of the time. Um, and Ren realized if I outworked uh, PSG in the midfield, we have a chance. Because the front three will not do much, but if you let them uh, have in, uh, the brilliance and you don't, and you give them the supply line, of course they will take you apart. But that is exactly where Ren really, really got, got working to cut the supply lines for uh, uh, MM in, in a way. Still, there was a free kick that Messi put on the crossbar, and I think since he's a PSG, he at least, has at least hit three, if not four, or four times the bar. What's the wrong with the goals in France? Are they too small? Or are there goals in Barcelona bigger? That's a question I have, because Messi is usually hitting them automatically, but now they hit the bar. Uh, but yeah, uh, they outworked, and just before the half, Laborde gives uh, Ren the lead, and then right after the half, they are still in the uh, sleeping car. Kind of Laborde assist rate, I think it was 15 seconds or something, or something like that. It's too new for Ren. Uh, Mbappé scores one, however, it was offside, and beside that, and the Messi free kick, there was really not a shot, 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 and goal. And that is the story of that game. Uh, another one, a uh, big, big story is that Lille actually had a pretty big win over Marseille. Uh, Marseille actually now kind of leveling out Jonathan David. Uh, I think scores both goals, yes, uh, for that one. And then the Ron Derby uh, with a surprise draw in, in, in a way, it didn't say much, but it uh, equalized for Sunday came in the 94th minute. Uh, both teams had goals. Uh, this did not our uh, just before the half had given Lyon the lead, but also a little bit of a setback for Lyon. So despite PSG losing, no one really can take advantage of the of that loss. So. Uh, it's also a little bit the story of Liga, and so again, PSG is still almost 100% winning that league. I mean, they had had already a big dis uh, distance. Um, Lance, Nice, uh, you know, it's kind of tight. I expect uh, if I see it as Lance with 18, Nice with 16, Auger with 16, and then they are 1, 2, 3, 4 teams with 14, 13. So it's rather, rather tight. Only at Bordeaux it kind of breaks off uh, in 16th place. Um, expected actually, Lille is now ahead of Lyon. That I found very, very interesting. Yeah, but that was it from uh, the Netherlands and France. A remarkable weekend, definitely. Not so remarkable back then. In any case, if you have anything to add, please let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell. So in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.